starts with um, giving the husband the first word. Please. In your relationship with one another, have the same attitude of mind Christ Jesus had. Who being in very nature God, having considered equality with God, something to be used to his own advantage. And rather the, he made himself nothing by taking the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness. And being found in appearance as a human being, he humbled himself by becoming obedient to death, even that on a cross. Therefore, the God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that the name of Jesus every knee should bow in the heaven and on the earth and under the earth. And every time acknowledge that Jesus Christ is called to the glory of God the Father. Amen. 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 this poem is entitled, Baptism. I've made my choice, I've heard his voice, and now I believe his word is fact, the time for me to act. The cool water covers my body and fills my soul, the kind of thing that can make me whole. It's a chance for me to make a new start, a chance to cleanse my sin-filled heart. I commit my life to him, so no longer shall my light dim. A chance to be free, a chance to be the best I can be. And as I emerge from the water, I feel like God's daughter. And I know that this is what he wants for me, a chance to be free, a chance to be the best Christian that I can be. Amen. <laughs> The thing is, uh, there have been many testimonies in my life. If I'm standing right in front of you in this pool, that's a testimony. Amen. Amen. Ryan is a testimony. My friends, my families, everybody's a testimony. Because what things, what things I've gone through when I was having Brian, the doctor said no. But I thank God I'm here today. Amen. And I'm very proud to be an Adventist, to take his name right from my tongue right now. Because things have been happening, sicknesses, pains, sorrows everything but I thank Jesus he's been with me always holding my hand even I've been falling off but still I thank him Amen. and um, everybody knows I have a Roman Catholic background and I've been speaking to them and they had no 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 opposition no oppose for my baptism Amen. and in fact one of my uncle that's what he said he said that getting baptized is easy but the life after that is very tough yes. so please pray for my family my parents and yeah. my people that uh, they support me yeah. and God may make a way for thank them. You so much. And uh, for your love, for your care, for your affections, for your prayers. Thank you so much. Amen. And I would like to say I love you all very much. Amen. She's very dear to my heart, although she has grown up and I, I met her when she was grown up. And I'm very proud today. Probably more than a parent. I'm I'm proud of the decision that you're making and I know it's a very important decision. You've wanted this for a long time. I thank God for taking Sandra to live at Minu's house. Amen. And I tell you, when you serve the Lord, it shows. And by Sandra's lifestyle and commitment to the Lord, she brought Minu along and Minu met Jesus. Amen. Live good, everyone. We, we don't know who might be influenced by the way that we live. And Minu is a testimony to that. I have a new daughter. Amen. 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 Congratulations, and I'm proud of you this morning. I've always been proud of you, but just for making that special step to Jesus and saying, I want you, Lord, to be in my life. This is very, very special, and I pray that God will be with you each step of the way. And remember, we all are here for you like we were before, whenever you reach a stumbling block. And Lord, be with her and her family. Bless each one of them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. God moves in mysterious ways. Um, I was it was the December and I was having all plans to move to America and the Lord just stepped in. I was living, you know, elsewhere and you know I was told that you know, I couldn't be there anymore. Didn't complain or anything and um, rang up my previous landlord and he said, you know, the room was available and I went and God had a plan. And I'm, I'm just looking in the future and see that, you know, by God's grace, we his family as well will come to know Christ as their personal Savior. And I'm so She said, oh, it's, um, it's me. I'm getting baptized on Sabbath, which I thought is screaming down the and <laughs> in excitement. And then she said, can you sing for me? And I said, yes. And I said, what song do you want me to sing? And she said, can you sing my favorite song for me? Um, and I pray that as this song has ministered to me, 
um, I pray that it will also minister to you because ultimately as Christians this should be our testimony every day that our desire should be to worship the Lord. This is my desire And then your spiritual name and a Bible character for you to look into and to follow is Priscilla. Now I've given you that one because Priscilla was a teacher. And since you've come to this church, you've always been studying and wanting to share. And um, I believe the Lord has called you to bring people closer to God. Now we were talking on Wednesday and that's really the heart of what... God is all about for us. The Bible says that all we like sheep have gone astray. We have gone astray. But the good shepherd has come and he sought us. And then he calls us to help others to be found as well. And so, by God's grace, the Lord definitely will use you to do things that I cannot do. Already, I think last week we, we went to see some of the ministry that you're doing and um, we're going to invite you a bit later for those of you to see um, some of the, the work. Is it six thirty? Yes, we'll talk about that a bit later. Um, but also, Gorab, as someone who is your husband, is someone who's seeking after God. I believe the Lord and Dave, you mentioned this um, on Wednesday. But the Lord is calling the two of you. That's why I've called you Priscilla, but um, in anticipation of Aquila. Aquila. Some of you know what I'm talking about. Yes. All right. But the Lord, I believe, is calling the two of you to take away, strip away this pharisaical, this ritual kind of thing. This is a very good point. We had a wonderful conversation. It's the truth. That there, God is concerned about our hearts. And he wants us to come close. Now, these things that we do are important in its right place. But by themselves, they mean nothing unless they are infused with true religion. So the Lord wants worshippers that will worship him in spirit and in truth. He says, in spirit, have it right in here. And then the actions on the outside. So God bless you. I'm going to ask you to stand. And we have practiced this. Now, Minu, because you have accepted Jesus Christ as your personal saviour, because you want to be part of the family of God, you want to live for him day by day, and be ready when he comes again, you and your family, it gives me great pleasure to baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Amen. 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 